Hello, and welcome to the Prosecutors Will Be Violated. This, I think, is my eighth episode. Holy cow, who'd ever thought that it could last this long? But it has, and boy, oh boy, we're going to dive right into it today, folks. we got a lot of stuff to cover. There's interesting things happening all over the place. So let's dig right in and find out what we found out this week. Well, the first thing that we found out is that... Uh, Unfortunately, because people cannot buy stuff, Christmas is being canceled. That's right, Christmas gift giving has been canceled because people can't give presents. And if everybody can't give presents, then nobody should give presents. So that's just the way it's going to have to be this year. Uh, supply chain issues, etc., have caused all kinds of problems. So we need to uh you know not make people feel bad and if you can't give get a present you shouldn't give one so there you go christmas has been canceled folks um in other news well just revealed omicron oh my god attacks oh boy you know i don't know what to say they've discovered a new variant or it's a variant of concern because well, I guess all of the variants should be kind of concerning, don't you think? Uh, at least I kind of do, so... Uh, what can I say other than, you know, we don't know? We don't know? Nobody knows? Nobody knows if this variant is bad? They don't know if it's good? That's probably not good, but in any case. Omicron has attacked, but they're telling you that... You should be okay, and if, especially if you got your vaccine and stuff like that. So, don't panic! They're busy panicking for you, so you don't have to. Don't you worry about it, folks. They've got it all under control. Speaking about under control, we just had Thanksgiving weekend, where since the pandemic we had record numbers of people going through tsa uh, to board on board airplanes and fly to go see grandma and grandpa and other relatives and stuff like that isn't that just marvelous all in the middle of this time when we're having you know peak transmissions all across the united states so it's wonderful to be able to get back into a plane and fly again unfortunately well this has meant that because hospitals are overwhelmed here in Minnesota, we have very few ICU beds. There are very few beds pretty much anywhere in the United States. So they're bringing in, in order to help out with the civilian counterparts, they're finally bringing in the military. They're bringing in the Navy medics. They're bringing in the Air Force medics. They're bringing in the Army medics. They're bringing in the National Guard in order to help relieve the staffing issues and stuff like that that hospitals are having. having. So there you go, folks. You know, if you can't get a hospital bed because it's got somebody in there with COVID. Well, it, I guess it just sucks to be you then, doesn't it? When you have a heart attack or you have something else. They're delaying elective surgeries because they frankly just don't have the staff. Uh, so, you know, there's been some bad news and all that kind of stuff. But so let's try to leave this show with a little bit of a brighter note. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. That's right, my ongoing section, the insurrection erection. Well, you know, it seems like pretty much everybody is uh, uh, suing everybody else. Uh, Trump is suing to keep records quiet. Uh, other people are suing in order to let stuff be revealed so that they can write their books. Um, you know, it's just amazingly crazy. And that's all I have to say, folks. I hope that you have a very, very good week. And enjoy, and I hope that you enjoy today's show. I enjoy putting together these little things, finding the little images that I download off in Google. Thank you, Google, for indexing every kind of image I could possibly ever want. All I have to do is search for it. So, with that, I'm going to leave you and wish you all the best. Hopefully, things will be better.